everyone the last time i vlogged was two days ago it was the first day of eid and then today is fourth day well actually i know it is three day but basically yesterday was the last day of eid and today is may 5th and as you guys could see i was so busy that i didn't even have any time to plan my days and just journal and stuff every morning but this eid was so different i don't know how to describe it but we didn't have any plans for this Eid, you know, we just go with the flow and that's why um, we had a big rush and I couldn't vlog much. So I'm really sad about that. But I thought I would film some stuff that I am planning to do this week. First of all, just like I said, today is 5th May. We are invited to a dinner hosted by my aunt. She is hosting a dinner today and yeah we will go there we'll have fun with my cousins and with my like relatives and stuff like i want to film you guys like the food and our tradition and stuff like, um, i know she's gonna make amazing food because really her foods are incredibly delicious other than that we are also planning to go visit our granny my dad's side our granny um because they will be leaving turkey tomorrow morning and we just want to see them one last time inshallah um and then yeah by the way right now it is I have to check the time almost 1 p.m and i finally started watching a new k-drama throughout the ramadan i didn't really watch any k-drama because i was like i mean first of all i didn't want it to i don't know how or why and second of all it was ramadan so i just wanted to um focus more onto my spiritual side if that makes sense this is the 25 21 k-drama i am a big fan of nam Hyuk. I hope that's how you pronounce his name <laughs> um, and I watched most of his K-dramas and I, I had to watch this one and so far I started watching it last night I'm, um, I'm right now on second episode it's going really really good and you guys were like Husna keep watching this it's really good it's, it has a lot of positive vibes it will motivate you and I'm here for it and I'm gonna watch it so yeah, that's a little update. Um, I hope this vlog is going well because I have no idea what I filmed the first day of Eid and I have no idea what I'm going to film in the rest of this vlog. But I just want to go with the flow and show you guys um, my life and like the reality side of it. So yeah. a bit of honesty but you were frightened you never really wanted me when i asked you if you wanted to be more than friends you went ahead and lied now i'm crashing trying to get back on my feet but it won't happen as long as you're still haunting me so i'm writing all these songs to get you out my head but the memories stay behind back home but oh my god today was such a long day um oh, i'm so tired you guys <laughs> i don't even have any energy to explain you guys what happened but um the dinner went amazing it was very good the food the organization like everything was perfect 
but I'm so exhausted. Um, I don't know. At the same time, like today we went to our granny's and they're like an hour far from where we live. So I think that probably made me feel very tired. Um, and then right after we came home, we went to the dinner event that my aunt was hosting. So it was like too much going on at once. So I'm exhausted right now. It is zero 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 zero, which means it is 12 a.m. And I am going to pray Aisha and then I'm off to bed because this girl needs some energy. Tomorrow's Friday um, and on Fridays, I, I usually have a lot to do. But also, I want to talk about something after Ramadan. You know, like in Ramadan, I was reading a lot of Quran, I was doing tasbih prayers, I was studying Quran meaning, I was learning more about religion, and obviously my five times of prayers, like everything was amazing religiously, but then right after Ramadan, we had Eid preparations and like Eid hustles and bustles, and I barely even had time to pray five times a day, but alhamdulillah, I prayed, like I obviously pray five times a day but other than that i have no time to do my other stuff and that makes me feel very miserable like i hate this you know what i mean like i hate that only in ramadan i do like a lot of prayings and a lot more as a muslim um, and i want to keep doing those even when it's not ramadan i hope you understand what i meant but that's why i'm kind of feeling down right now when i'm thinking about those stuff but the thing is i actually don't have any time to do those stuff but inshallah today was actually the last day for us of eid um and tomorrow i'm just gonna uh, get back on track because it's friday it's also like kind of like a holy day in a week for muslims um so i'm gonna just focus on to myself spend a me time spend uh, a time with god inshallah and I just want to go back to my routine, like my daily routine. Um, and yeah, it's, it's going to be inshallah a good day. So I'm planning to film tomorrow as well. And maybe I'm going to end this vlog. I don't know. I feel like I didn't film anything. I'm sorry if this vlog is all over, all over the place. But I'm also going to add a tafakr session. So probably it's going to be longer. That's why I'm going to end this vlog after I vlog or no, after I film tomorrow. Hello from Friday. I had a good day, but I literally forgot to vlog everything I did. Alhamdulillah, today I got back on track with my daily life and I feel very better. Now it is around like 6 p.m. I am going out to hang with my cousins. We're gonna ride some scooter and have some fun because the weather is amazing. Welcome to another Tafakkur session. In today's Tafakkur session, we will be talking about the ocean. If we start thinking about the ocean, we can't stop thinking about it. There is just a lot to admire about it. Now we know that about 71% of Earth's surface is water covered. And the oceans hold about 96.5% of all Earth's water. That is a big amount and it is also a proof that the water and ocean has a big role in human beings' life. First off, let's focus on why the 71% is covered by water. What would have happened if it was 50% or 60% or 70, or literally 70.9%? Or what if it was more than 71%? Let's think about it. Water, and especially the ocean, helps a lot with the nature and Earth's system. First of all is air. Ocean has a huge role in our breathing. The ocean produces over half of the world's oxygen and absorbs 50 times more carbon dioxide than our atmosphere. Second, it literally feeds us. Ocean is an important source of food. Fish is on the menu for billions of people around the world every day. 
not only peoples but also animals too. Plus, to get just one gram of protein from cattle, you need 112 liters of water. The oceans, if properly managed and maintained, could form an important part of a more sustainable approach to feeding the planet's growing human population. Third, it also helps regulate the climate. Fourth, it is also a home of a lot of interesting living beings and creatures. And many more if we keep on counting. Subhanallah. I only counted four blessings of the ocean and I already get why most of the earth is surrounded by it. What if the sea multiplied as it rained? It would have not stayed at 71% and got more, more, and more higher. Can you imagine how dangerous it would be? The earth would have been filled with water and we would suffer. We all know that the ocean is salty. What if it was not salty? When we first think about or imagine about this idea, we might be like, everyone would have enough water to drink, but actually, the world would stink and no one would be able to drink that water just because of the awful smell it would have. Imagine, the water is not salty and you can drink it, but it stinks. You can't even get close to it. That stinky smell would have surrounded the world since the 71% of the earth is surrounded by the ocean. Some people can't even stand the smell of fishes or other sea creatures. So imagine how hard it would be. When you look at these effects and these systems, you can see that it has a great connection with our life. It has a huge connection with human beings' life. It's literally like created and made only for us, only for our lives. It's just that there must be someone behind this amazing system there must be someone that has created and built this uniquely perfect system. This system can't be spontaneous. It is a proof that there is a creator who created this amazing system. There is a lot more to talk about the ocean. But in any way, we can see that the ocean is a huge blessing for us. Thank you so much for watching and coming to the end of this video. Can't wait to do more tafakkur sessions with you. And may Allah bless you.